Uh, good night, Tonio, and give my best to Lucinda. And Sierra. the chance you might be home. Oh, yes, I am. Come on, Jimmy. Just okay. save me from having a dreary evening all alone by myself. Oh, here. Here, let me take uh, this. Barbara, I'm sorry. I dropped the oh, baby. Um, was that Tony Reyes that uh, I passed in the lobby? Yes, yes, as a matter of fact, it was. He came by fashion to see something that I was designing for his wife and offered to give me a ride home. Boy, is he one good-looking man. I had no Hey, come on. Now, don't say that. I wouldn't believe that for a minute. Oh, come on, Lisa. When I see a wedding ring on a man's hand, I know it's hands off. <laughs> oh, really? That's a very smart rule to follow. I know there are some women who uh, just love to go after other women's husbands. Really? Mm-hmm, yeah, that's what I hear. They find that uh, it's a challenge to seduce a, uh, a woman's husband, or they also feel very uh, secure in knowing that they're not going to get involved in a serious relationship. It's a dead-end street. Mm. Oh, Lisa, that's exactly what I was trying to tell you when you were still pining away over Bob. Ah, oh, so you did. Well, I do want you to know that I had a little talk with Kim, and I tried to set things right with her. I explained it all to her, and she was very dear. She understood. How is Kim? She's back in the hospital. You're kidding. No, no. Dr. Samuels wanted her to come in uh, for a couple of days for observation. And, and you know what? Today is Bob and Kim's first wedding anniversary. Oh. <laughs> Guess they're not going to have much of a celebration, are they? Right not. I'm, I'm going to go over there later this evening. Oh, can I go with you? Of course you may. Oh, good. Now, you still haven't told me the reason for this little impromptu visit. Hmm? Ah, yes. Barbara, I think we ought to firm up our uh, time schedule that we're going to do the Simply Barber show over at the Mona Lisa. I want to announce it tomorrow night at our grand opening. Well, that sounds wonderful. So why don't you sit back, relax, and I'll get the champagne. Champagne? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. what's the occasion? Who needs an occasion? <laughs> oh, Lisa, would you get that for me? Uh, big glass, too. Uh, hello? Why, Jerry, hi, this is Lisa. <laughs> no, no, Barbara's in the kitchen. She'll be right here. Look, I'm so glad you called. There's something I'd like to ask you. Remember that night when we all went dancing? You said the funniest thing about you, you didn't want any brandy because you didn't want to have the same thing happen to you that happened to Tom. Remember? What exactly did you mean by that? Excuse? We have a visitor. Oh, Betty, thank you. Margo, sweetheart. Oh, what a nice surprise. Oh, I'm so sorry I haven't come to see you sooner. Oh, don't but be silly. Don't everything. be silly. No, no. Oh, look at your flowers. Yeah, they're, they're beautiful. Cute. I think they're going to open up pretty soon, too. Anniversary gift from Bob. Oh, I'm sorry. I, for, I totally forgot your anniversary. Oh, for heaven's sakes, don't even think about it. You've had so much on your mind. Uh, how are you feeling? Oh. Much better, thank you. Goodness. Good, that's good. Because I know how much you and Bob want this baby. Oh, we certainly do. Baby. You're going to be a mom. <laughs> All over again. <laughs> All over again. But you're going to have that little... Oh, how exciting and scary. <laughs> and responsibility. That's huge. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. But, oh, it's such a wonderful responsibility. but the thought of having a baby was going to be so wonderful before. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetheart. Oh, I'm sorry. Really? It's okay. No, it's not yes, okay. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We're going to find out who sent you those flowers. Doug sent them. Honey, Douglas is dead. Doug. It doesn't matter. He's just never going to let me go. This is the way the whole thing started with Kim. Was Doug sending her this? He caught roses. These couldn't be from Douglas. Look, the florist made some terrible mistake or it's some sick person's idea of a joke. I'm going to call Pearson and see who, who made this delivery. Where's your Thank you, book? Roy. Well, uh, 
It's, it's, it's the number's right here on the box. Good. Let me see. Oh. Honey, we're going to find out who did this and make sure it never happens again. It's no use. Doug was right. I'm never going to be free of him. This portion brought to you today by our moist, delicious baking mixes from Duncan Hines and by Dawn, the dishwashing liquid that takes grease out of your way. Aha, uh -huh, I see. Is that your... Yeah, uh, well, wait a minute. Shh, I'm here to talk to uh, uh, Wait a minute, wait, please. What did you say, Jerry? Are you sure that's all there was to it? I see. Okay, uh, hold on just a minute. Barbara's dying to talk to you. Hold on. Uh, Here, would you take this for me? Yes, I'm very will. heavy now. Oh, is it okay? Is. Jerry, hi. Oh, really? That's terrific. No, no, no. Don't call Tom about this. I'm going to be using a new attorney in the office from now on. Uh, yes, his name is Greg Hadley. Mm-hmm. Of course, I'm still coming to New York. Would you please give me a few days to work on my spring 87 details, okay? Aha. Uh -huh. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Barbara, my friend, is Tom not going to handle simply Barbara? Uh, well, truth be told, Lisa, it was my idea. Well, why? Why? Well, because Tom has been so worried about Margot, and I just didn't think it was the best thing for him to be worrying about my business problems right now. Did I hear you and Jerry discussing Tom on the phone right now? Oh, yeah, yeah. We were talking about that night in New York, in New York premiere of Simply Barbara. And, uh, well, it was the night before Tom got so drunk. Yes. Uh, what did he say? Well, he just said that Tom got violently ill after he, Jerry, had poured him a glass of brandy. That was after the rest of us had gone to the disco. Yes. Poor Tom. He really did himself in. Uh, why in the world didn't you tell me about that the next well, day? Well, uh, Tom was so embarrassed about the whole thing. Here, Jerry had to pour him into bed, and but I saw what kind of condition he was in. And the next morning, I think he was just very embarrassed to have his. This is a CBS News special report from CBS News headquarters in New York. Here is Dan Rather.